Welcome back to a fall video. I know that it's already October, but we still have four weeks left until Halloween. So there's a lot of time I wanna tell you today my things that I want to do and how you can enjoy October to the absolute most because if you're anything like me this is your favorite time of the year and Christmas of course but you know September to December this is when I feel I'm coming alive number one is to slow down and enjoy each moment if you're anything like me you're always in a hurry you're always rushing things you're always trying to get to the next thing okay there is nothing worse than the entire month going Going by and you're like oh my gosh what happened why is the month already over I mean it still happens you know time time is just flying how is it almost Christmas already sometimes I'm like I just want to slow down time so how are we gonna do that we do everything with intention no matter what I'm doing I'm always like okay now I need to do my makeup then I need to drive then I need to do this then I need to do this and then I need to walk my dog and I need to cook and I'm always rushing into the next Thing, instead of just being in a moment of what I'm doing right now if right now I am cooking I'm making a healthy meal I am focusing on that if you're going on a walk you are on that walk if you're taking a shower this is what you're doing right now something that I also really like to do is document everything uh, either by taking photos I love taking photos of my outfits of the sunrise the sunset my dog Bowie food I love taking pictures of my food and just stuff like that just every day bits and pieces and then you have these photos as a memory and you can look back on what you did each day or you can journal if you have the time but I totally get it that you don't have to that you don't have the time every day but it can also be like just you know five minutes like it, it's very quick you don't have to sit down for half an hour also something that I like to do is to switch things up, which can be very hard in your everyday life when you have a routine and everything trying out something new maybe I don't know maybe a new this is so random a new shower gel maybe try a new flavor of coffee maybe do do something different I'm kind of lacking ideas not gonna lie I really like to go on different walks like exploring new new areas so these are all things that I think can slow down the time but the biggest one is not rushing and really be in the moment. Number two is to make a vision board and write down your goals or write down how your best version of you would be. Now for me is the time where I want to be my best version and where I want to reach my goals and where I'm really productive. We still have three months until the end of the year which is a lot of time. I know it is very tempting to be like I'm gonna start in January and I'm just gonna chill the next three months but you can start right now. Right now in this moment you have three months of this year where you can implement new habits. You want to maybe drink more water, you want to go to the gym, you want to cook more home-cooked meals that implements the cooking well. But you can start with all of these habits right now and not wait like everyone else until January. Who is motivated in January? I know there's always this New Year's content and I kind of love to watch it, but when January hits, when my favorite season of the year, fall and Christmas is over, I go into hibernation mode, okay? I'm usually doing very, 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 very bad mentally. It's just a downhill from January. I usually don't feel any spark of motivation or joy until April. Make a vision board. You can make a specific full vision board of your dream life, your dream you, and get specific about what do you want to wear. Maybe you're studying so you can make a little cute study vision board. I, I love stuff like that. It really motivates me. Start a new habit. Do something good for you. Try and become the best version of yourself. I mean, this is an ongoing journey. This is not just going to be the next three months. This is going to be our entire lives pretty much, right? But we still can do a lot in three months. Like, I think people underestimate what they can do in three months. Number three, fall walks. There is no better time, in my opinion, to go on a walk than in fall. Why? It is not too cold. It is not too hot. The weather is perfect and nature is the most beautiful. You can say whatever you want, but there's nothing more beautiful than fall trees okay this makes me so happy and sad at the same time because i'm like the leaves are gonna fall very soon we should do a petition that this lasts longer right this should be like six months not just one month off topic i love going on fall walks i have my dog bowie so 
of course I'm gonna go on a walk all the time but I especially do enjoy it in fall and I like to explore new areas and specifically go to places where I know there are gonna be a lot of trees and beautiful fall nature and I just really take in the fall walks. I sometimes like to listen to music or a podcast and sometimes I just like to listen to the nature depending on which mood I am in the day but I have my fall music you know that I like to listen like um, the red Taylor's version for example. <laughs> This is my fall album, okay, so I need to listen to that. And when you go on your walk, also with slowing down, really try to take in the nature. Like really look at the trees, look at the sky, look at the birds, listen to the birds. And if you don't want to go on a walk, you can also go on a fall drive and listen to Red Taylor's version. I love driving in fall. I love driving when there are woods and everything, when it gets foggy, when all the trees are beautiful and there's sun. Ah, it's, it's just so pretty. I love a good fall drive. Number four. <laughs> cozy fall evenings oh my gosh now is the time now is the time for the cozy fall evenings we've been waiting for it romanticize your cozy fall evening take a shower take a bath whatever you prefer or switch it up i personally love to take a bath on the weekends light a candle a cute amazing smelling fall candle obviously have your fall decor out have cozy lights have your cozy blanket maybe get a fall pj fall movies normal fall movies but also spooky movies and harry potter of course like and if I'm not watching fall movies, something that I also really like to do is there are these ambience videos where you have their Harry Potter videos that I absolutely love or just fall ambience videos. And I put them on the TV when I'm reading, also reading, reading in fall and having a tea. Reading and having a tea in the evening is one of my biggest joys in fall, okay? It is so cozy. You cannot convince me that there's anything better than that. Number five is fall baking and cooking, which I love to do everything pumpkin. We just did a salmon bake with tomato, feta and pumpkin. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I want to try some pumpkin gnocchi because I saw them and I was like, I need to try it. And today I saw a wrap of chickpeas and pumpkin. So I am, I am open to try everything pumpkin related when it comes to recipes and also now is the time for baking making fall cookies i really want to make taylor's chai cookies this year because i wanted to do them last year two years ago i wanted to do them since red taylor's version came out oh my gosh so this year this year i really need to make them and watch some gilmore girls or another cozy fall show also get your pumpkin spice latte if you haven't number six is to plan fun stuff. Whatever fun stuff is for you, um, maybe go to a pumpkin patch. I really hope we can do this this year because last year we wanted to do it and then it got super cold. And this year it seems like we're gonna have the same fate because like our weekends are always booked and there's one free weekend. So if that weekend is not warm, we're gonna have a problem. If you're from the US, you probably have a lot of activities. Where I live, we don't have that many activities. Maybe there's a theme park around you where there is fall, fall vibes, fall themes. I mean, if you can go to Disneyland, I'm very jealous. I really want to go to the Disneyland in fall, you know, but we don't have any here. <laughs> Plan a fall shopping day. Have it with a friend or go alone. Just a girly fall shopping day, fall clothes, fall decor. And if you don't have the money right now, you can just, you know, look around a little bit and have a pumpkin spice latte and just walk around and get in all the good fall vibes. You can also go to the movies, watch a horror movie. I'm not even sure if they're gonna be any this year number seven cleaning i personally do not enjoy cleaning okay but i do enjoy decluttering because the feeling afterwards is so amazing like you feel so much better i just decluttered my entire makeup vanity i had so much expired makeup like oh my gosh and now i feel lighter i feel better i feel like i only have the makeup that i want and need like my makeup staples and i don't want more than that and the same to my bathroom i declutter threw out all the expired products and wiped everything down and oh my gosh it feels so good because now I only have the products that I want and need and not so much excessive stuff that I don't even use. I, I did my entire office room where I have all my books and stuff like that. Decluttering and reorganizing everything and just knowing where your stuff is and you know sometimes you have what is it called cupboard or whatever like you know some where you don't even know what's in there and it's bothering you and then you put it all out and reorganize the clutter and you feel so much better because now you can open it again also getting your fall and winter clothes if you don't have them all in your closet at the moment because i always have to 
have a few things in the basement because I don't have enough space for all of my clothes fitting into my closet. Organizing, decluttering, I love it. I love it so much when everything's clean and tidy and <gasps> love it. And the last thing, number eight, is to prepare for Halloween, whatever that means for you. Maybe you still need an outfit because you're having a party on Halloween. Maybe you still need to buy specific decor for Halloween because you're throwing a party. Maybe you're throwing a party yourself and you need to plan the whole party. When it comes to me, I'm not going out on Halloween. I haven't been out on Halloween in years. Actually, the first year I didn't go to a club was the best year in my entire life. Just staying home, having my favorite food, having Halloween candy. Oh my gosh. What I like to do is I make a list of all the movies that I want to watch around Halloween, like in a week before, week after Halloween and on Halloween specific. So I have movies that I do not watch before that. Okay, now it's too early. I, I watch other movies now and then I have specific movies that I just want to watch around Halloween. Okay, so I make that list and also buy your Halloween sweets. I definitely still need to buy mine because the stores didn't have any yet because I need them for the Halloween weekend and well other than that this is my whole Halloween preparation but I still need to do that and I still want to prepare that. <laughs> that is what I'm gonna do to make the most out of October and I hope this helped you so that you can make the most out of October too and if you need a little bit of more motivation to be productive in fall I actually have a video about how to be productive in fall and stop being lazy and also I have an entire cleaning my apartment and decorating for fall video so if you want to watch any of these videos to be more in a fall mood fall vibe and get a little bit more of that you know productive motivation i love watching videos like this <laughs> please subscribe if you want to see more fall videos i have a few ideas that are still coming and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see my next video